I, f for whatever reason, have always had this innate confidence and um, the thought that every year I'll just get better and eventually I'll be a pro and I'll continue to get better there. And more or less it's come true. I started when I was pretty young, you know, in the Venn diagram of, uh, of sports. Running was right in the middle for me, and that's kind of the, the glue that held my limited athletic ability together. So just, uh, you know, just went with it and ran with it. I went to University of Oregon for college, was always a, a big fan. My best friend Gavin uh, kind of put me on to, you know, the whole era of Prefontaine, you know, all, all the greats that came, they all big inspirations, and, you know, once. I, once I got the call, I said, hey, you know, we got a spot for you on the team. It was, it was a no-brainer for me. When you have a lot of people excited in one place, big things happen. And that's what happened at Oregon, and you know, I think that's still what's happening now. And so for me, you just keep the last few seasons in particular. He's going to have this opportunity at home. Um, I probably have the least amount of experience, maybe besides the high schooler they got thrown in. Um, he's kind of saving me from that title, but yeah, it's really cool to have kind of my first big experience, um, be at home and be in an environment like this against, you know, Olympic champs, world champs. When it comes down to it, like Cole said, we do everything together, and I mean, Cole was six at the Olympics, so uh, why can't I be there also is kind of my mindset. What's going on? On your mark. Bring him 11 to the U.S. NCAA 5,000 meter champion at Oregon. He's the only two record in the mile of 35039. This is Cooper Tier. A lot of this sport is just learning, learning on the fly, and um, I mean today was easily, you know, the biggest learning experience you can have. You, know, you can only simulate so much in, in, you know, domestic races, but when you get into something like a, a Diamond League or a pre-classic, uh, you know, that's where you learn, you know, a lifetime of experience from these guys who've been doing it that I've been looking up to for years, guys like Chariot or Jakob. Um, so you just got to get in there. I think today I kind of, kind of showed how much of a rookie I am just with the way I kind of executed that race. In my head, the, the top two 1,500 guys in the country are Cole and I, um, and that's kind of how it went today. You know, I think. Everyone who beat me was in the 2021 Olympic final, so not bad company to be in. And you know, I was I, I was right there. I think a couple of tactical errors maybe put me out of it before I had the chance to you know get myself in it. But um, yeah, when it comes down to it, I'm going to be ready in a couple weeks. Yeah, I had some ups and downs. Uh, you know, I got six in the Bowerman Mile at pre, and that was an underwhelming that was an underwhelming finish in my opinion. Even though that's the best uh, that's the best field I've ever raced against. Um, but, you know, I'm never satisfied unless I'm winning. And, um, you know, that's the attitude you have to have in this sport. You can't just be content or, you, you know, you're not going to be able to get as far as you want. So I want to be that guy who goes in and, and, and wins every race and uh, knows I can.
insane, insane to win a first, my first US title, I think. It's something people dream of, and to do it in the first, like, you know, really, one of the first really big meets at, at the new Hayward Field, kind of, I felt like it was somewhat of a christening of Hayward Field. You know, I, I love, uh, you know, the tagline, the house that pre-built for, uh, for the old Hayward Field. You know, I want to I wanna build something like that for myself and, uh, you know, be one of those names that is kind of etched into Oregon history. And I think that's kind of the first step in doing that. Obviously, athletically, you want to be as, as, as good as it gets. You want to be a world champion. You want to be an Olympic champion. And that's, that's really important. But I also want to be someone who's remembered for more than just that. I want to be, you know, one of those, one of those personalities. You don't want to just be times and numbers and places. You want to be you. I want to be Cooper Tira. You know, we had a lot of really cool stuff planned. And got, got the community involved with a lot. And that, that helps me just, you know, it gives me that feel that, that I need. I have great people around me. That energy is, is unmatched. And, uh, you know, you don't find things like that in our sport too often. You know, to be able to go and compete in something like the Bowman Mile, to give a world record attempt in the 4 by mile and then come and be a 1500, a U.S. champ. There's, there's no taking that back. So, you know, that was my first big, real big accolade. And, you know, making a world team is, you know, now it's, now, now it's the standard, now it's my job. So, you know, you gotta rise to a, the occasion. So I've had some good stuff happen in the past, but also some bad stuff. And, um, I don't really mind talking about the bad stuff. Got through USA's and I was like, uh, who, who knows what could happen at, uh, at Worlds? And uh, trying to make do with you know, other means rather than what everyone else in the world is doing that's coming here. You know what, I made it here. I did what I could with the circumstances and now I'm gonna try to enjoy it for a little bit until I move on to the next thing and you know, get healthy and get ready to go. Just excited for where I am right now, what's to come. You know, you need ups and downs. Every if if everything goes good, then you come crashing down when it the second it goes bad. So I'm happy to have a bit of uh, you know valleys and valleys and peaks. So make do with it. Move on to the next thing. Don't dwell and uh, yeah, keep keep it running. <laughs>